Arthur Compton and the other physicists knew what had happened to the earlier experimenters with radioactive materials. Compton chose Robert Stone in Berkeley and Joseph Hamilton at Chicago to research the biological aspects. The scientists who conducted these experiments were not from the inner sanctum trying to build the bomb. They reported their findings directly to them. Joseph Hamilton began to study the radiation effects in rats in the summer of 1942. In 1943, the first human test subjects would be used without their knowledge or consent. All the experiments were conducted for the express purpose of answering the unknowns. How much radiation would kill a man? Could blood tests detect exposure? Are there treatments for exposure? Long before radiological warfare was used on enemy populations in war, it was purposefully tested on American citizens. By 1945, the war was over, but these questions remained unanswered. The experiments would have to continue for the next 30 years. Admiral James Cooney became the leading advocate for an experiment on 200 healthy volunteers using up to 150 rad or more. Colonel Shields Warren opposed the idea, as did other civilian scientists. He argued that 200 was too small.